Hey peeps. Oh, there's actually people in here. There was like zero people for like three minutes, I think. Hey everyone. I'm just doodling and answering questions if anyone has any questions or wants to know about art or my art or random things. Thank you. Yeah, I, I like to do like random doodles when I'm feeling like I'm in an art rut or like I don't know what to do next. It just notified me you were live. Huh, that's, that's weird. I was on for a little bit and there was like no one on there for, for, for quite a bit. So I didn't know if I was like doing it right. Hi Mimi. Hi to Mimi. Yeah. Does anyone make art here? Anyone who's watching right now? Yuki, hello. Thank you. Yeah, these are random doodles. I was making a video right now about um, what to draw when you're feeling like bored or lazy or if you feel like you're in a creative rut. And then I was like, let me just go live because I didn't really feel like making a whole video about it, but maybe I'll finish it with some of the live stuff on here. Yeah, I really like this type of art because it's super relaxing to me. Like, I think I can doodle for hours and I don't even realize what time it is by the time I'm done. I love your nails. Thank you. They're those glue-on nails. And I did them for an event I had. They were, they're actually like lasting longer than I thought they would, which is pretty cool. Line art is some of my favorite art to draw because you don't really have to do anything beforehand. You don't have to prepare. You don't have to like sketch anything. Student with a pencil. I have a question. How do I make portraits of people in real life? I can draw people, but I can't make it look like a specific person. What should I do? Ooh. Do you mean like if you're, if you're like in front of someone and you're trying to draw them? because for that, I think it's all about proportions. And I don't really have a specific way to go about it. Maybe I'll make a video about that, but for me, what works best is to just do your basic shapes first, which, you know, you make circles and things like that. So like if there was someone in front of me, I just like do their egg face thing first. Obviously, you know, there's no one in front of me, but you know, you start with your egg shape and then you work off of there, depending on like what their face shape is. And then, yeah, just like do some basic line work and then just go off of how they look. I don't know how to explain this correctly and I'm not explaining it correctly, but maybe I'll make a video about that. That's a good question. Thank you. 
<clears throat> Hi, what's your dog like and what's his or her breed? So I have three dogs. One of them recently died. They were, I had two bull mastiffs and then one weenie dog. <laughs> um, but our big dog, Rocky, recently died. He, we don't know what happened to him exactly, but uh, one day he showed up to our house just like completely covered in blood and we freaked out, we didn't know what to do. And he had like these gashes on his neck. So we think, so we live like in ranch land and we think like he got in a fight with a hog or something and it was just very messy. And what ended up happening was he got sick for a while, then he recovered. And then he got sick again, we think from the same like injuries and he just never recovered and he was sick for a long, long time. So, yeah, that, he recently died and we still have uh, one uh, bull mastiff and one weenie dog, which they are the best. <laughs> yeah, it was really scary. I, I remember looking outside and I saw, saw something on the floor, like just covered in, in something. I knew it was some, I, I thought maybe it was, was like mud or something, but, um, I heard my dog going like, ur, ur, ur. And I was like, what the heck? So I ran outside and the entire porch was covered in blood. And I remember I just screamed and my parents came out and we like started cleaning up. We started looking for him cause he was like around the house and he was like hiding from us. But, uh, then he was just stuck by my dad's side, like trying to have my dad help him. And, um, he wouldn't let us touch him or anything. So it was really hard to like, uh, give him food or aid him but like I said he got better and then he he didn't so we don't know what happened there I really like these pens I got them from this company off TikTok called Grabby but I found dupes on Walmart and I think I I think I can tag it to this video maybe I don't know um but these are really cool because they make the, this little effect here. I like them. If you have a chance to buy some pens like this, I highly recommend. You can do a lot of really cool, like, random trippy art or, like, doodly zen art. Thank you. What happened? I just got here. Yeah, I was just explaining about my one of my dogs who recently died. He was with us for, I think, seven years, six, seven years. He was a big goofball. He was huge and very scary. He was a very scary dog to other people, but to us, he was just a big goofball. I have so many videos of him. I think I made some videos of him and put him on this channel. But yeah. I found that brand on the floor of my school and lost it. What brand of this, this pen? Honestly, I don't know the brand cause I can't read it. <laughs> um, but uh, this other brand called Grabby sent them in like this package and they're super nice. I love them. I love it cause it's like, there's pink and blue in there but together they make this purple. I'm gonna do that. My dog is about to die. Please say this out loud. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mimi. Yeah, it's very sad when our dogs die, but it's just one of those things you you can't really prevent. You just have to love them and hope that they're like happy and you make them comfortable. They are. If anyone got oil, give it to me or else I'm gonna send you the whole military. What the heck? USA! <laughs> the USA just commented on my live. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't have oil, y'all. <laughs> I live in Europe, so I don't know where to get drawing stuff. I just draw in school. Well, that's how you start. My notebooks in high school are full of doodles 
I have I have some of my old doodles. I used to draw like random and weird stuff. Like I would draw like a giraffe and then I would put like a fish body on it or something. And then I would pretend like it was some new animal that was like, you know, generated and cloned by humans and science. I had a weird imagination. I kind of want to do that again, actually. You're such a big funny inspiration to me. Read this out loud, please. It would really make my day. There you go. It's the real USA. Give it to me. <laughs> yeah, I have vegetable oil. I don't think they want that, though. But yeah, I've seen I've seen some artists do this whole like uh pictionary type art where they like choose random words to put together and then sketch it out. So they'll see like one card that says um I don't know, like elephant and then the other card will say like calculator. So they'll draw like an elephant calculator thing. I think that's really cool. I might do something like that. I need to get those cards though. I don't know. Maybe at Target. Where to get those? Sending the military now. No, please, no. <laughs> I like my legend. I love you, mommy. It's the live below you is so cringe. What is the live below me? Tell me, please. I want to know. You know, I didn't know you could uh, scroll through shorts and just see random lives. I think it's kind of like, you know, TikTok in that way. All right, y'all. I'm going to need your help. I am stuck on what to do next. Should I use this? I don't have very many supplies with me right now, but this is like a green brush, I think. Let me, let me test it. I don't know what this is. Oh. It's green, okay. We'll just do like a leaf of some sort. Um, that's like too dark green, I don't like it. But we're gonna work with it because this is abstract and random, so it doesn't really matter. So since we put one here, maybe we'll put one over here. I like abstract and random doodles because you kind of just feel out what you're feeling in the moment and that's what i like to promote on my channel in life in general if you're just feeling something just go for it nothing is serious y'all well there are serious things but in terms of art if you feel like a circle goes here or a square goes there do it put it you are just the more unique for making the type of art that you want and for placing things wherever you want them. So here I'm gonna do one of my little typical doodles that I do. And if you're ever feeling like, man, I don't know what to draw or what to do today, just do something like this. Draw lines on a paper and then go off of that. No one's gonna judge you. Who cares what Becky from high school says? Who cares what John from your, I don't know, church group or your club or whatever says? It doesn't matter. No one has to see your art if you don't want to. And if you want to promote it or put it out there, then do it. At the end of the day, we are all, we're all gonna die. Not to be morbid, but <laughs> in a hundred years, no one's gonna remember this, so. Do what you love. If you want to make art, if you want to create stuff, if you want to crochet, you want to dance, now is the time to do it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to who? Thunder Gamer. You are, so, you are so inspiring and today is my birthday. Can you please read this out loud? Happy birthday. That's awesome. Can you please make a cow holding a mushroom? See, I wanted to do this, but the thing is cows don't have hands. And I guess he can be holding it in his mouth or I could just make like some weirdo art where the cow is sitting on a couch holding a mushroom. That'd be kind of cool. I like it. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that idea. 
Thank you, Violet. My real name is Abby. Happy birthday, Abby. And happy birthday, Nicole. I hate when art teachers tell you what you can and can't do. Yeah, sometimes they're like that. But I don't think it's from a bad place. I mean, sometimes people need structure and structured art lessons to learn specific art techniques. And that's not a bad thing, but if it's not like what floats your boat, then yeah, it can be quite annoying, but I think you should just try to take the lesson, whatever they're trying to teach, but then, you know, do your own thing on the side, I guess. <clears throat> Did you ever live next to cows during the fall, during your ghost photo phase? <laughs> my ghost photo phase, that's funny. Yes, I, my parents have cows in their house. We have three cows and one of them is pregnant and we might have a little baby cow soon. And that's gonna be so cute. Um, of course, I'm gonna put some videos of that when it happens. My parents thought that the baby was gonna be born during the eclipse, but sadly, not yet. Anytime now, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> kind of cool kind of looks like a little astronaut and like with some random foliage I don't know I'm Turkish and I do not understand anything you say but I am writing it in translation you are my favorite channel sleep I knew you thank you that's that's such a sweet message thank you do you post tutorial videos on drawing? Sometimes. I'm trying to do more of the long form videos coming up, but for now I do mostly like shorts and I'm trying to get into like lives just because um, previously when I had a job, a day job, I didn't have time to do all of this type of stuff. But now that I do, or now that I don't have a job, I am free to do more art, which is super duper cool. I think it looks like a face. It does. I drew a little eye in there just to like prove that you can do anything. I heard Danny's not the baby daddy. Let's hope there's no baby. Oh my God. You guys. I also have this like red micron pen. Let's uh, do something. What should I do to y'all? I'm gonna do something like going off of this leaf. Something like that. Just like feel it out, you know? Nothing has to be perfect. Lines don't have to be perfect. But I love your nails. Thank you. I don't know how to draw further with my drawings because I'm scared I'm going to ruin it. That is a very common reason why people don't make art sometimes and it's totally okay but you just gotta do it honestly because I feel like the only thing stopping you is you please read this and read your art please draw a dog holding a remote sitting on a couch and watching tv the remote can be in the dog's mouth <laughs> that's cute I might do that I want to do the cow one though first. I want to draw like this, but I like character art. Do you have any recommended channels? Character art. I don't, I can't think of any right now at the moment, but I love character art. I can't, I, I, I will never say I can't do it. I, I can do it. I just, uh, it's not my, what is it called? That's not my forte. I'll look some up though and, and I'll I'll let you guys know. I wrote this because I don't want the comments to remain empty. Oh <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and Nyla's idea. Oh yeah, the dog one. I like that. I'll write that down. Actually, okay, yeah, I'll write that one down. 
One time I was bored and watched five minute crafts and I saw them making a pair of sunglasses and I instantly thought of you. That is awesome. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love that. Yeah, I'm gonna make more five minute craft like parody videos too. I have so many ideas, y'all. I write them all down, but I need to I need to work on them. Have you ever thought of becoming a gamer? I have not. Why? Do I sound like a gamer? Should I be a gamer, y'all? The only games that I've played and really, really enjoyed are, well, it was just one game. It was Grand Theft Auto. Just because I like running around and like standing in front of people or like shoving people or like stealing cars and doing all that. I think it's really fun. But then one time I remember I, I got like too into it and I like, I would be like walking down the street and I felt like I was the game. Like I could do that to people in real life. So I was like, okay, I need to stop playing. Yeah, I got too into it. I'm like, I get addicted to things really quickly. So yeah, maybe gaming is not, or maybe like violent games aren't for me. <laughs> I think I'm the only Turk here, Victory. I think so. Yes, tag me in all your abstract art videos, random doodles. I love that. What if you did speed draw on Roblox? You'd beat everyone. Dang. I'm gonna have to Google what that means, speed draw. Y'all, I'm in like, I'm in my late 20s. I don't know what these like words, I know what Roblox is in general. But I don't know about like this speed drawing thing. You're like one of my favorites. Oh, thank you. Hi, Azura. 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 I like that. I think there's a brand of pencils or pens. No, 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 it's markers. Azure. That's what they're called. <clears throat> it's a game, yeah. Weird idea, do you want to draw a hairbrush with realistic eye? A hairbrush. I could. It's a game and you only have a few minutes to draw, so that's why it's, ooh, okay. Yeah, I love those games. I like that type of game. Although whenever I'm under pressure to draw something really fast, I do get really nervous. And I tend to mess up. But yeah, I really recommend y'all, if y'all really like to create, you like to make things, you like to edit videos, and you like to just be doing like artsy stuff in your free time, I really recommend you draw or you make your own little like YouTube channel or just post your art online. Have people like look at your art, expose your art your craft, the things you like. You never know. Some of these some of these drawings you end up making or paintings, people will really like. You might make an impact in someone's life. I think that's the best part that I've found about, you know, putting my art online or putting myself out there is that sometimes people get impacted and they like it. And you are a positive force in this world. <clears throat> Can you draw a shark on the side? Hmm. I think I need to look at a picture of a shark. I can't think of on the side. Let's see. Let me do this. There you go. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Paper scrunchies, they help me remove stress and it's pretty cool to see paper in that form. Paper scrunchies, hmm. What are paper scrunchies? I'm not sure what that is. I don't know how to record me drawing instead of me just drawing for one hour. Usually if I do stuff like this, I'll just uh, do a time lapse and it'll be better for people who are watching because I don't think people really enjoy watching someone do the whole process. Or maybe they do, I don't know. That's just me.
Do you have any interest in football? American football. I like watching it, but I've never played it. And soccer. Yes, I love soccer. I played soccer in high school. I tried playing soccer in college, but I didn't make it. <laughs> I wasn't fit enough to run miles and miles around the field. Can you tag me in a video for no reason? I'll try. <sighs> what else should I do, y'all? I'm at that point where I'm just like, hmm, what else do I add? Looks like a pigeon head. Oh, it does. Let's do a little pigeon then. Oh, it could just be like a little bird. Eyes here or eyes over here? Or eye down here? We'll do an eye right here. And then this is the little beak. It looks more like a little parrot. <laughs> Yeah, at first there was like zero people for quite a minute. And then there was like 80 people at some point and now there's 16, I don't know. It's just gone up and down. We're just doing whatever. The pigeon looks like a crow, it does. <laughs> What else should I add? <clears throat> Maybe I should turn this into something, something cool. Maybe this could be like this. I don't know, y'all. That's the fun of drawing abstract things. It can be anything. Have you ever drawn a portrait of a real person? I have. The only thing with those was it was always commissions. And for some reason, I really enjoy commissions. However, I, I didn't like the pressure of being under a time constraint and having to draw and paint people. If, if I'm gonna paint, I kind of like just doing it because I want to and not because, you know, I need the money or I'm under a deadline or something. And I think that's what kind of has dissuaded me from continuing drawing people. Occasionally I will, or like a family member will ask for a portrait of another family member or something like that. And then I will draw stuff like that, but I closed my commissions for portrait drawing a long time ago. Farwa. Hello. People were like a friend group. Yeah. Yep. I am very excited to see what's gonna happen these next few months with art with my art with my new like routine work schedule now it's all about making art for myself and art for you guys and to sell and just see what i can do so if anyone has any tips for working from home I would much appreciate it. Thank you, can our friend group, can our friend group have a name? <laughs> I mean, yeah, come up with one. How do I become a full-time artist? You get laid off, like me. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I didn't choose to be a full-time artist, although I've always wanted to. 
I have aspired to be a full-time artist for a long time now, but I recently got laid off and it's just, I just organically transitioned into it and that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm hustling though. I'm, I'm preparing a lot of things. I'm trying to have uh, commissions lined up for murals and things like that. So I think you just have to really treat yourself and your art, your craft as a business and go from there. Right now I'm in the experimentation phase of like uh, social media wise, just like going live, showing people who I am, personality, all of that. Just because, I don't know, I feel like that's important and the people that I follow, I really like I, I really like them and their personalities and I want to see what all of that is about. I'm being vulnerable, putting myself out here, trying to see my audience, what people like, what they don't like, what they like about my art, what they like about my videos. And one thing about my videos is I love making them. I get so excited when I make a new video. I get so giddy. I love everything about the editing. I, I don't know. I think I should have done something with like video editing because I really love it. But here we are. Right now is the perfect time to be a social media person or to be someone who puts your, your craft and your art online. I like art. It's midnight here. Where are you, Farwa? It's 2.32. Hmm, I'm not sure. <clears throat> but really, what a time to be alive where anyone can be an artist, anyone can sing anyone can dance anyone can create millions of followers off of you know doing random things online you can make a living off of it that's what's even crazier if we were born a hundred years ago we'd all have you know generic jobs and roles in society and now it's truly a time where you can be whatever you want who is a part of puffy peoples <laughs> The puffy peoples, I like it. Is that what y'all are going with? Just came back from school to watch you. Aw, Pringle Duck Art. I love that username, Pr Pringle Duck Art. That's beautiful, I love it. Congratulations, Turkish person. <laughs> Let's name it the puffy people. That's hilarious. And super cool. What's the goal for your channel in the future? Hmm, that's a really good question. Right now I'm just trying to have fun with it. I'm trying to experiment with different art mediums. My basic and most principal goal though, from the very, very beginning since I started making art in 2018 was to inspire people to create art, regardless of what materials you have, you know, and to go for it, regardless of what people are going to say. So my primary goal is to inspire people to make art and not be afraid of making it. But business wise and like personally what I would want is to be able to make a living off of it and to be able to buy whatever art products I need and if I you know want to make a mural for someone in the future I don't really care what I charge them you know if they want to pay me like five hundred dollars two hundred dollars one hundred dollars it doesn't matter because I will just be doing it because I love doing it if that makes sense and I really do, I really do love it. And I have undercharged on paintings and murals before just because I wanted to do them and I didn't want like 
to be beaten off the opportunity to create. And it's just really nice to have a really good portfolio of art. But yeah, I hope that answered the question. Who's your favorite song? So I don't know if y'all know this artist, but right now I'm really into rap. <laughs> um, I, I've been listening to that Mexican OT for a hot minute. Um, I like all of his songs right now. <laughs> I even bought one of his shirts recently, which I never do for artists, but I just, I really like his whole vibe and his music and it just really gets me going. You know, sometimes you need that uppity music to get you going in the morning. <clears throat> I got out a sketchbook and now I don't know what to draw. Any ideas? Make some lines. Go off of that. See what feels right. That's what I did on this painting right here or this drawing. So I, I began by like just doing a random doodle, you know, and you could just, you know, do whatever. And then just go off of there. Make some random lines, doodles. If you see, like, someone saw a little pigeon, but I turned it into, like, a random little bird. Whatever you see, you try to recreate it. And just go from there. That's what sketchbooks are meant for. It also depends on what kind of art you like. Someone on here said they like character art. And that's really big right now. So you can practice that. When I draw on paper, it gets on the other side. What paper should I buy? You mean like when you draw on regular copy paper? Oh, like it bleeds through. Is that what you're saying? Okay, I'm gonna need you to explain to me what a paper scrunchie is. Or I'll just Google it after this, but yeah, I'm down. I am trying so many things as of lately. I have bought new art supplies too, like random things that I saw on Amazon and I was like, I need to do this and I need to let people know about this. Oh, I also bought, sorry. I also bought these recently. And these are temporary tattoo markers. I got them off Amazon. And my, so I'm gonna be drawing on my husband's arm. He doesn't know it yet, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a tattoo for him using this. It's gonna be super cool. I'm gonna make a video out of it, so you guys better watch it, but I'm super excited. He wants like, he's always wanted like a tribal or a like Spanish like type of tattoo thing because he and I are both Hispanic and Spanish uh, so yeah I want to do that with this or do some like space and like line art on his arm and maybe I'll like do his whole chest but I have to like shave his chest <laughs> but yeah he doesn't know it but I'm gonna do a tattoo on him <laughs> oh yes watercolor paper works really really well Uh, for bleeding through this paper is really good too this one is let's see this one is uh, I got it on Michaels and they had us uh, they had a like a 50% off sale recently I should have gotten some more but I really really like this one it's for illustrations it's for drawing and doodling um, I really, really recommend this one. And it's pretty cheap whenever they have those sales, like I said. I think the max you'll pay for like one of these and it comes with 20 sheets would be like $10 maybe. So, super cool. What's your recommendation for markers? Right now, my favorite, favorite markers at the moment are these Sharpie ones. They're like acrylic markers they're comparable to the poshka markers but they're not as expensive as poshka markers and it's really cool because they're ready to go like you don't have to shake them or like press down to get the ink flowing they're just ready i have a lot more but i don't have them with me right now at the moment they come in a lot of colors 
And there's there are these like brush ones and there's also like the ballpoint or not ballpoint, um what are they called? Bullet point. There you go. Are you good at sketch art? I like to think so. I whenever I do sketch art, um I mean yeah, I think I'm good at sketch art. Also, in this box is another of the things that I ordered online. I've just been ordering random things. What is this? Let's see. Actually, I don't know which pen this is. I ordered like 10 new pens that are super random. Just to try them out and to show you guys. Let's see. Oh yes, this one is a fidget pen. Look at that, that's really cool packaging. <laughs> Have y'all ever seen a fidget pen? Oh, this is so fun, look at that. So you can basically, it's a pen and you can like make it into different things. <laughs> I think, I don't know. I saw it and I, I saw that someone had shaped one of these into like a weird pattern. Oh, that is so cool. It's like magnets. Oh, is each tip? Oh, okay, no. All right, so I'm guessing you can just like take off. Let's, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's put it to the test. Let's see. Oh, no. Does it have something? I don't know how to work this, y'all. Oh, there you go. There it is. Oh, that's very sharp. Very fine, too. You can make very fine lines. That's kind of cool. Let's see. And then it comes with these like magnet balls that stick to it, I think. I don't know, y'all. I'm just buying things. I shouldn't, but I am. I'm buying a bunch of things online. Please help me stop. <laughs> Let's see. If you could give any piece of advice to a beginner artist, what would you say? Don't be afraid of experimenting. That's what I would say. Oh, this is like a stylus point. Don't draw on a table with dents. Yes, do not draw on a table with dents. It will ruin your drawing. That's some good advice, Carly. Yes. I have messed up many drawings before. Okay, uh, I, I'm getting really distracted with this pen. It's definitely a fidget pen, but I don't know what the heck. How are people making stuff with it online? What? That is so cool. Okay, all right, I'm gonna let this go just before I mess it up. Anyway, I think I'm getting near the point of ending this live. Does anyone have any questions? I just wanted to come on here and talk with y'all and feel out the audience, the people. What do y'all think of this drawing? I think it looks pretty cool. You can definitely add more like random little doodles to make it just a little more interesting. Give it some character. A chibi dinosaur. I would give you a hundred if I wasn't broke. No, don't worry. Oh, let's see. What can we do here? Kind of want to do like what is this one? This one's eight. 
I really like this one, the PN. I don't know what that stands for, but it's one of my favorite right now. When I draw the pencil, ink gets on my hand and then I end up ruining the drawing. Do you have any ideas? Oh, when I draw with pencil, what I do to not get ink on my hands is I'll get like another sheet of paper. Like let's say I want to draw right here. I'll like put some paper over like the part that's gonna be touching my hand and then you can draw. Do you know what that means? I mean, do you know what I mean? <laughs> So it like put something over the part where your hand is going to be constantly rubbing and then you'll protect it. It's a good question. <clears throat> Any other questions? Try a dog holding a ball that's just scribbles. You get really easily into this. Does anyone else have a question? Something they'd like to know? Any art related questions? And thank you so much for everyone who's stuck through this live, who's been here since the beginning, or if you just popped in to say hello. I really like the name, Puffy Peoples. Man, I wish I had like a tub of Puffy ink so I could make some crazy stuff with it. Thank you. It kind of looks like the Statue of Liberty with this, <laughs> this part. But given the supplies that I had with me, I think we did pretty good, y'all. I had this, 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 and this. So these were the art supplies I had and I just, I felt like relaxing a bit and doing some random doodles. And this is what we came up with. Can definitely add some stuff to it later but at the moment i think i'm gonna leave it like that and go get myself some lunch oh i also had this thing i have this little like uh blender pen and i really like it because you can use it for areas where you want to have like some definite or not some definition but like some shading and like give it depth See like this eye right here, I wanna make it kind of more realistic in 3D. And then sometimes what I'll do is I'll like, I'll get like some pen and then I'll like use a little piece of paper and scribble on it. And then I'll use the tip of this to like grab some of that ink. And then use it to give it even more color and depth. If that makes sense. Can y'all see the difference in the eye? Well, maybe not right now, but when you do it to like these little parts where there's like ridges or you wanna just add some definition, there it is, you see? Oh yes, I know, yes. Don't forget to write down the cow holding a mushroom. I just don't want to forget, <laughs> of course. Do you get scared that you will mess up your doodle? No, I don't think there's such a thing as messing up a doodle because you can always make something better with the mess up, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this here. I am getting really hungry. Thank you so much for joining y'all. I liked this session a lot. If you all liked this type of session, please let me know and I'll continue to do them. Um, but I do have some really fun things planned for the future, so stay tuned. And thank you Puffy Peoples for coming up with that 
beautiful, beautiful name. <laughs> all right, y'all. Have a wonderful evening, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and that you keep showing up and liking my videos. And thank you so much. <laughs> all right.